Trick-or-treating in Rhode Island has been given the green light. Governor Gina Raimondo announcing today that the Halloween tradition can take place, but with guidelines. She says children should be in their stable groups. Plus, you won't be reaching out into the same bowls as everyone else. Tonight, 12 News reporter Sheena Lashuto has reaction from some people who just love Halloween. Just driving around the neighborhoods, it's pretty easy to tell who's into Halloween. And according to the expert trick or treaters we spoke to, well, I like dressing up. The countdown to the big night starts right around now, about a month until October 31st. Halloween is a tradition that has been here for centuries. So the governor's announcement at Wednesday's press briefing was a welcomed one. The show will go on. This year there will be Halloween in Rhode Island. Um, so get ready for your costumes. But like everything else, it's going to look different. Dr. Alexander Scott says trick or treaters have to wear masks, and not just the costume masks either, but your regular face covering. She also says kids should be picking candy up rather than ringing the doorbells. A creative way to do this differently is to leave individually wrapped goodie bags outside. Alternatively, you can leave individual pieces of wrapped candy on a baking sheet that's spread out. So no one's touching something more than once. Someone is able to go and pick it up. Children can enjoy the experience, and we can do it safely. There's been a lot of talk about Halloween feeling a little bit different this year with all of the restrictions. However, Halloween enthusiasts say it doesn't have to look any different. In fact, they think this is exactly what people need right now. Halloween was always my favorite holiday since I was a kid, so... Peter DeVincent and his wife take pride in decorating their wicked and spooky yard. For it is I riding in the dark. <laughs> They're ready to follow the trick-or-treating guidelines set by the state and are happy to offer something fun people can enjoy from a distance. Even if they, if for some strange reason, if they cancel it, we were still going to have it. So we were still going to decorate and, you know... Is it like I said, it, you know, when people drive by, when they stop and take pictures, they really enjoy it. So anything to give people that, you know, that good feeling like, oh, yeah, it's great, you know, and they really enjoy it. So, you know, that's what we like. We like the response. Of that. I'm Sheena Lushudo, 12 News.